my dad always taught us we have to be really good at what we're doing because you have to be someone in life and if you're not doing the best what you're doing you're gonna be have a really hard life I'm Shaolin Liu, I'm 21 years old and I'm just a guy with big dreams. I'm Shaolin Liu, I'm skating for Hungary in uh, short drag speed skating with my brother. We skate together, we fight together, we work together, we live together. So basically we do everything together. Like I'm always say, he's my he's my second relationship. We eating together, we train together and, and if we're going to a competition we are sharing a room together. Our relationship is pretty close and my, when we were little kids my dad always always told us like we have to protect each other and we have to be really good brothers because end of the day you're only gonna be have a brother is gonna be there next to you. In the gym we start with a longer warm-up normally. We just start jumping with the bar, squatting with the bar. So I would say you have to be have really good muscles everywhere because you need really big coordination in this sport. If you look at my upper body, you you can see I'm not I'm not a weightlifter or some upper body sport. We need to have really strong legs. I was in Sochi, the 2014 Olympics. I was racing there. I was trying my best. I was like, like we can say like a beginner. I was only 18, I think. And if someone would ask me like, how do you remember back your first race or your races at the Olympics? I, I would say, I would say I can't. I was so much under pressure and under stress. I wasn't remembering any any of the moments of the Olympic. The best of this sport, I think, is you can feel the speed. You can feel that you are racing with uh, different people. You can win or you can lose. I think it feels amazing. We have two different cultures, one of the Hungarian and one of the Chinese. And we were getting older, our dad just, when we started to speak Chinese to us and our mom just started to speak Hungarian to us. When we moved to China for a year, it was it was really hard at the, at the beginning. It was really hard trainings. Uh, we, d we did that in 2007, what we're doing now, like a whole day training. We were little kids, we didn't know what is it gonna be for us right now, but now like we if we're looking back we know we know what, why we were there and it, it's worth it to the pain. When me and my brother trained in China in 2007 to 2008, we were training with our coach now, Lina, we, we, we call her Lina, her English name is Lina, and every hard time she was helping in life or training, so she's really really close. I speak Chinese with my coach, but, but sometimes when we are at the training, uh, I speak English to look, so that everyone understands what we're talking about. But most of the time when we are together, yes, we speak Chinese. My dad always taught us we have to be steady and we have to be really good at what we're doing because you have to be someone in life and if you're not studying or if you're not doing the best what you're doing, you're gonna be have a really hard life and he was always trying to motivate us so, so I'm trying to work as hard as I can.
and now I'm trying to be the 2018 uh, we, we're doing the qualification World Cups right now I think I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be there so 2018 Pyeongchang is gonna be it's gonna be a really good time for me